Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at Jada's Next Level Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challenger's Violent Ken, aka SDCC Ken. Uh, will they be available elsewhere? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're still available on the website. So, hey, if Jada's doing one thing right, and they're doing many more than one thing, but they're doing one thing right, it's their exclusives. Last year was a little iffy, but then they kind of ironed it out, no problem. This year, it was easy peasy to get these guys. So, well done for them. That's awesome. And this figure is pretty darn good, if I have to say so. Uh, I don't have to say that, but I will say that. It is. It's pretty darn good. There's some really nice accessories and some nice updates to the release. Otherwise, it's a repaint. You guys know the deal here, but let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Okay, before I show you the figure, I do want to show you my package. It is a bigger than normal package, so that's kind of cool. You have the nice artwork here. No window on the sleeve, but some artwork again, like I said, is pretty good. And then you can pop the sleeve off as you can with most sleeves and then you get a giant window so if you are an on card inbox collector and wanted to display this you could the figures front and center all the accessories very nicely displayed in there which makes it nicely displayable and then on the back you get some photos there or one photo there pretty darn cool and then i love that they have the whole roster here because they're gonna have the whole roster and they've shown all of these at this point right yeah i believe they have so hey that's pretty cool. I don't see a Shinakuma though. I think they're probably gonna save that for next year's exclusive or some sort of other exclusive. Nice packaging. Okay, let's move on to the review. We're not gonna do a full on proper review because it is basically the same Ken, which will be up there in that corner. Um, but I'll show you everything you need to know. The joints all feel the same by the way, so I'm not gonna bother going over all of that. Uh, but I'll do a question of the day. How far into the Jada Street Fighter line are you? Are you getting the exclusives? Are you getting the color variants that show up at Target or at whatever that other store is? Or, or what are you guys doing? For me, as with all Street Fighter figures that I collect, I'm all in. I'm all about Street Fighter. I grew up on it. Love the characters. Love the designs. Love collecting the different color schemes. And so I am all in. Okay, and also I have to say, like, Jada's doing a good job with it, so I'm happy about that. Uh, okay, and then I'll address one other thing. People sometimes complain, oh, it's just a repaint. They're already doing the repaint thing. They're, they're just looking for money. Like, that's how companies can make money doing action figures. If you're only doing new sculpts, you'll never make enough money to make it profitable. You have to do repaints of some variety, or at least some part reuse. And with these fighting games, the repaints make perfect sense, so I can't fault them at all for that. In fact, I like collecting the different colors of the different characters for the various reasons. So, this is Violent Ken, not exactly just a repaint. We do have some new stuff, but let's talk about the aesthetic. It's arguable they did too much of that purpley pink shading on the skin. I don't mind it, personally. I think if you're going to do it, you might as well do it, and it looks pretty cool. It is a bit heavy, but it is well placed all the way around on the skin and on the clothing too so i like it i think that's good yes it's probably too heavy i'll just put that out there uh, if you look at the box art <laughs> there's none there's none on there i don't remember if he had it in the game but there's none on any of the art so uh even here this is shading that's on here is just the shading they had for all the characters that were drawn this way so you can see his skin doesn't have any pink on it so it's it's probably a bit heavy I don't personally mind. I could see if you did. Uh, otherwise, the paints are still as clean as they normally are. It looks good. In fact, I would say the face looks better than before. These eyes look great, by the way. Way better than Bison's turned out. Uh, his eyes look good. His face is well done. Is his nose still crooked? This one's not. So I'm wondering if, if maybe I just had a weird one. I really like the way they did the hair. It's a, a little strange if you get too close to it, but if you're just looking at it normally, I think the hair looks really good and it looks just like the source material. So I am thrilled so far with the aesthetic. Very, very pleased with that. Not gonna bother doing ratings, because like I said, it's just a repaint that you know what you're getting other than like to see how it actually turned out sort of situation. So yeah, it looks really good aesthetically. Now for the accessories, I'll still do my photos, uh, but we have our one big barrel, which is done very nicely. And then you have one smashed barrel. So I like that. That's some good stage um, props, I guess. Oh, you get our pink fireball, which has the hands inside, which does look very nice. I wish you could see the hands inside from the side. That's how you're supposed to be able to see it. 
That's still a problem for me, but it still is a good fireball. You do get the flaming hand accessory now, so that's pretty cool. You do get the same set of hands that you normally get. And then for heads, we have the other angry head that we saw before. That's well enough done. But then we have the new head, which I just love. I love the hair sculpt on this so much. They nailed it. And then the yelling part, it still fits in that slightly cartoonish style they're doing, but this is really well executed. This is one of the better sets of faces they've done. And I'll be reviewing Chun-Li too. She's right there too. She looks great. He looks great. Love that yelling head for this style. They nailed it. If they can get these faces to look stylized like this, but well enough executed, I'm all for it. And I think this looks great. Love that hair sculpt. So yeah, the accessories are definitely enough for this thing to be justified. So you get the alternate version of Ken, well enough executed. You get all the accessories you need for him, very well executed, other than I still like the fireball to be different. It's it's where you need it to be. And then the articulation is gonna be the same as always. So I don't need to spend too much time going through it, but now you know exactly what it's gonna look like if you've been sitting on the fence. I think you should hop off that fence. You should get one, you should get one. They're still available, last time I checked, it was like last night or yesterday or something. Still available on the Jada website, so I don't get anything for it, but if you want one, I'll put a link in the description below. You might as well, you might as well get one if you think it looks good. So, uh, there you go, there's the Violent Ken. I'm very, very pleased with it, and I think you will be too. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but that's it for me, so thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos just about every single day. I'm trying to do every day right now to get caught up, but I've got like a thousand reviews to do, so we'll see. But anyway, almost every day, we'll say, and I do have thousands of videos already on the channel, so make sure you come back for all of that, and in the meantime, keep collecting. Thank you.